this is a sp a light book 850 g3 laptop motherboard and this motherboard came to repair after a visual inspection we found this ic is burned this is a 1.2 volt vddq ram power supply ic so now we will remove this ic and then i will check this power rail is short to ground or not if this power rail is okay there is no short then we will replace new ic or replace from our donor board and i hope after replace this ic this board will be working condition so as you can see this ic already melted with this motherboard layer so it will be a little bit difficult to remove from this motherboard so we already set our uh, hot air gun in 500 degrees celsius but uh, as you can see it's not pull up okay it's done and uh, look at look at here it's totally burned this is a v in line track also burn as you can see but uh, uh, it's uh, it will be easy for me because there's only one pin is broken so uh, now i will clean this whole area with my soldering iron and then i will replace a new ic i hope after replace a new ic these boards will be working condition so let's clean all the flux with this uh, alcohol okay uh, it's now look like clean so now i will replace this ic from my donor board so i scratch a little bit here and uh, Put some flux and this is uh, my donor board same motherboard and I uh, will take same IC from same place but this work very easy for me because I need to make only one track but you know sometimes it's very difficult if you need make more tracks so this is the vttq ic so let's solder it okay let's align little bit and it's done all the pins melted nice and smoothly and now i will make only one track by jumper wire this is uh, way in supply for this ic this is uh, my technique and i fix lots of laptop like this Oops. 
Sometimes it's very easy, sometimes it's very difficult. Okay, let's put some soldering lead here. Okay, it's done. So let's clean this area, clean this flux, clean also done, all the job are okay, let's check, okay there is no short, plugged in, and it's done, let me show you, now we have 1.2 volt is for RAM supply now it's time to check problem is solved or not so let's connect LVDS connector it's plugged in again and it's turning on just need to wait for a few seconds to see the HP logo what I always expect after my hard work it can take a long time take a few minutes okay something wrong with this laptop let's clean the RAM and try again let's try again I think uh, this RAM is bad due to burn IC so now I will change this RAM and I will check with my good this is a good RAM I always check with this RAM so let's check again so it's turning on and you have HP logo so it successfully fixed this motherboard and this ram is bad so thanks for watching this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon